Hi guys, welcome to a hey Math Group. In this video, we're gonna learn how to test the hypothesis using the t-test with the calculator. Let's do it. So, your friend or you and I, we are at the mall and we see this uh, group of models, supermodels, and they're really, really tall. So, I go ahead and I tell you, oh wow, they're very tall. Actually, they're taller than me. And you tell me, you know what? Anytime I see a supermodel, I know that they're very tall. So I go ahead and make a claim. And I say, my claim is that supermodels have height greater than the mean 62.3 inches for women from the general population. What this means is that we're going to test and figure it out if my claim is right or wrong. Basically, we're going to figure it out who's right. So let's do it. We have the following problem. The height of 12 supermodels were measured. Their mean is 69.6 .6 inches and the standard deviation is 2.4 inches. We're going to test the claim that the supermodels have heights greater than the mean of 62.3 inches for the general population. Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna get these 12 supermodels we measure each of them, then we divide all those measurements by 12, we get this, then we do the standard deviation, and today we're gonna do the t-test and figure out if they are, they're actually, they are, their mean is actually greater than the population. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our test. Now my null, is gonna be that the mean is equals to 62.3. Remember, this one is always equals. And then remember, my claim, which is the alternative, is that the mean is greater than 62.3. Since this is greater than, this is gonna be a right tail. Remember, if it's less than, if a left tail, and if it's not equal, that will be a double tail. So, we're going to go ahead and use the significant level of 0 0.01 to test this, um, all of this data. I know that n is equal to 12 because we tested 12 supermodels. The x bar, this is remember that we got all of them and we measured them, is 69.6 .6, and the standard deviation is 2.4. Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and go to stats, which is right here. And we're going to go to test. So just go to test. And remember, you have C test or T test. In this case, we're going to be doing T test, which I click enter. And C, you're going to have data and stats. Data is used when you have a list. That means that they give you a bunch of data and then you grab that list from the calculator. In this case, we don't have that. So we're going to use the function stats because we have already all our data. So remember the mu was 62.3, my x bar was equals to 69.6, .6. my s is 2.4, and my n is equals to 12. A lot of students ask me, how do I know which, which one is who? Like which one is the claim and which one is the x bar? Remember, the x bar is the one that the problem gives you that they grab the people or whatever the subject was and they were testing it. The mu is gonna be the claim. So now, in this section here, you're gonna have not equals to, less than, and greater than. Remember, we're doing a right tail, so it's gonna be greater than, so I click enter, and finally I do calculate. By the way, if you do if you do draw, it's gonna give you also the little bell. We're gonna go back. So let's go ahead and do enter. And voila. Perfect. Look, I get the T value, which is, let's write it down, 10.537. I get the P value. The P value is 2.187, and then look. 10 to the negative 7. That means that this guy is extremely small. Very, 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 very small. So with this information, we're going to go ahead and go back to our problem. Let me do a screenshot and we're going to put this in our results and analyze it. Okay, so going back to our problem, we have that the mu is 
mu equals to 62.3 and we're testing that is greater than 62.3. Remember, if the P that we calculated is less than the significant level, in this case 0.01, then we're going to reject the null. Well, let's see what we got. Do you remember our calculations? We got a really small P value. What that means is that because this value is less than 0.01, I'm going to reject the null. But what does that mean? That means that I don't want this guy and the claim is actually true. We can say that we reject the null when we had the significant level of 0.01. There is sufficient evidence that the supermodels have heights greater than the mean 62.3 inches for women from the general population. I am only 5'4", which that's like 60.4. That means I'm not a supermodel, but it's okay. I hope that you have a lot of fun with this problem. Please don't forget to watch our other videos and also thanks so much for learning.